Welcome back to Prey. Our quest at this moment is to go to Dr. Calvino's hardware lab and see if we can find any information on how we can restore the connection to the server and, I guess, view the rest of the video. Of course, we're probably not going to get to that in this episode because there's optional things to do and things to explore and, oh, there's so much. So first thing, let's use the recycler for the first time. Get rid of all of this junk. Uh, it says hold F to transfer junk. Let's see how much that gets rid of. Oh, beautiful. Um, I guess... I guess I don't have any reason to get rid of anything else, right? I mean, all of this is not junk, so... It all has some value as at least a healing item, if nothing else, like the banana and apple. So, I'll just leave it like that. We're gonna get seven... Whatever that is. Yeah, <laughs> there's four different types of matter. Not sure what they all are, but... Let's do it. so cool. Oh, I love it. Oh, give me those cubes. Yes. Beautiful. And that just stacks nicely, right? Yep, organic material, mineral material, synthetic material, and exotic. Cool. So let's see what we can make. I think we only have two fabrication plans. Yeah, the wrench. There's no reason to make that. Glue canister. I absolutely want to make that. Uh, let's see. How much is in one canister? I'm not sure, but it takes two natural and two whatever. Mineral? <laughs> that is so cool. 84. Okay, so that's basically two magazines worth. Or cartridges worth. Should I make more? I'll make one more. Meh. Eh. Yeah, I'll make one more. Alright, nice. Oh yeah, now we have room for the three Neuromods. So that's gonna be pretty fantastic. Let's see what we can get. Doubles both the duration of the well-fed bonus and the health gained by consuming food. I didn't even know there was a well-fed bonus. Eh. That doesn't sound very good. Increases the effectiveness of medkits to 300%. Holy crap, that's huge. Wouldn't that mean each medkit effectively gives you full health? Well, no, it started out at 20-something, right? So I guess it would give you, like, 70 health or so, but that's really good. What else? Right, we still got the leverage, which I still haven't done at all. Suit modification. Ah, that's the one that gives you more inventory space and allows installation of two additional chipsets. Whatever a chipset is. Break down equipment in your inventory into spare parts and recover spare parts from destroyed operators. Increases recycling yield by 20%. Hmm. Reduces stamina cost of wrench attacks. All good things. That's good. Ooh, enter a state of combat focus for 10 seconds in which time slows around you and actions cost 50% stamina. So, bullet time. <laughs> Basically that sounds incredible. Better stealth? That also sounds good. Oh my god, I want everything. Oh, um... I really want to be able to hold more items. Because that will allow me to recycle more stuff and, and things like that. I want everything, but I'm going to go with this. I'll go with that, and... Is there something else? Um, where's the one that increases... Yeah, so this increases your max health a little bit. Let's go with that. Okay. Ah, I feel so bad to select those. Just because there's so many other options. There's so many options and I want them all. So it should make me 
what was it, five percent faster at everything? And how's our inventory space looking? So I think it grew by one in every direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So I think we have fifteen more slots. Oh, um, can I recycle my other wrench? Oh yeah, all right, so let's recycle that. It's worth one mineral or whatever that is. Yeah, I definitely don't need two wrenches. Give me those cubes. That's so satisfying. And we also got a weapon upgrade kit. So, in what way can I upgrade these things? Let's see. Incapacitation rate from 100% to 120%. Handling increased movement speed while firing. Meh. Better range. Meh. Reload speed, really don't care about that for the glue cannon, so I guess the incapacitation rate would be the one that would I, I would care about the most. But what can we do for this? Increases the duration of the stun effect, range... More shots before reloading. I mean, so far I haven't used this thing, like, at all. I've just used it once, so meh. I guess yeah, you can't <laughs> you can't upgrade the wrench. Okay, well, going with my thing of trying not to just hold on to stuff forever and never use it, I'm gonna increase the incapacitation rate of the glue cannon. Okay. Good morning, Talos. Warning: tampering with administrative controls Don't work harder, and work smarter. stations or keypads may result in electric shock. If you're oh, having I trouble accessing it. a system, please send a help alert to security. Combat basics. Haven't I already learned the basics? <laughs> We're like two hours in. Take advantage of your environment and tools in combat. You do not have to fight every enemy head on. Use alternate routes to sneak past tough enemies or to get the drop on them. If you intend to fight, disable the enemies first with something like the glue cannon. Can increase your odds of surviving. Yes. Ah, right. Should I try the trauma center now? I do have a 20% increased incapacitation rate. And I am supposed to look for... Bellamy's corpse. I thought I looked at every body though. Eh, I guess I didn't. Alright, let's see if that thing is still on fire. Oh, I can take these now. Ah, shit, it's still on fire. Okay, well this probably is not gonna work then. I think I might have been sucking up the fire from the ground. I don't know, but I'm going to try that. Let me wait a minute and I'll be right back. 
Actually, instead of trying to make them not on fire, I just got an idea and I don't know why I didn't think of it before. How about I lure it into a trap with a turret? Or maybe not even lure it. I suppose I can just put this down in the room somewhere. And then just wait for it to come across it. There's a good chance it's going to destroy the turret, though, I feel like, before it can fully kill it, but at least it should be able to help, right? I can't get under the table. I'm scared. That did not work too well. Did it do any damage? Uh, I can't tell. I'm gonna go for it. Still does nothing. Suit integrity damaged. Yeah, no, that's that's not happening. <laughs> Even just looking at the damage that I was doing with each wrench hit, it's like nothing. I, I think I'm just not supposed to fight that thing yet. Even turrets can't take them on. They die in like one hit. Okay. I mean, I could get the other turrets and put them in there, but I think that still wouldn't be enough. Hmm, where to go now? Been all the way around there. I haven't been up on that side. And I think I tried to go down here, right? Yeah. Locked. Alright, let's go up this side. I haven't been here. I've been to restrooms somewhere, but not these. Definitely not these. Pretty sure I've been in... Oh yeah, I've been in there. Alright. No, wait, didn't I go in these? I'm pretty sure this is the only restroom. Was someone else in here after I was? Harder. Gotta wait for my stamina to come back. Oh, another glue cannon. Nice. Yeah, got a bunch of ammo for this thing now, plus I can break the other one down into... those. Alright, up we go. It really is very counterintuitive for me to be sneaking with my light on. It's like, what? Did I get the hack ability? I did, didn't I? Oh, I did. Oh. 
All right, the hacking skill allows you to bypass security systems, protecting keypads. Uh huh. Uh huh. WASD to quickly navigate the bitstream to reach the target. Once inside the target, press the prompted button to complete the hack. I wonder what the penalty for failing is, because I'm probably going to fail this the first time. Reach the target. Oh, okay, it's like a maze. Okay. So blue. Oh. Oh, 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 uh oh. Oh, Did they see me again? No, I let them out. Yeah, I let them out. They're not going back in. Oh, wait. Now they're... Oh, they teleported downstairs? What? Get back in there. The other one too. I really wish I had a gun. Not a glue cannon, not a taser, not a wrench, but like an actual gun. Like a shotgun that I keep finding shotgun shells for. Let's see how well turrets do against those weaker ones. What the hell? What broke this? Alright, well we got one turret left. Spots them. Oh, there we go. Oh, this was a mistake. Where's the other one? Oh, there it is. Oh, fuck. I thought maybe I'd help the turret along, but no, nope, that didn't work. Ooh, when's the last time I saved? Oh, shit. Oh, right there when they spotted me? Oh, man. Alright, I'm just gonna go grab the turret right now. Come on. Oh, hey, this turret's... Oh, when they came down here and teleported down here, they must have destroyed it. Oh, shit. orbs they shoot out. Nasty. All 
All right, I'm gonna let the turrets just do their work and just hide and just see how good they are on their own. Did it already blow it up? Oh my god, it did. I really need a gun. Oh shit! Oh, it wasn't even aggroed on me. Oh, got it. Got one. Got one. Okay. Didn't even take any damage. See if I can hide from the other one. Okay, making progress. Full health hasn't been softened up for me. Can I distract it? Thank you for your sacrifice, little turrets. Where's the... Where's, like, the main corpse of the phantom that I can loot? lock that behind me just to be sure. I'm gonna assume that this place is clear. I don't know why I would assume that, but I feel like I should. I feel like they wouldn't put little mimics in along with the phantoms. That would just be cruel. office. Beam shielding. Reduces damage taken from laser attacks. Oh! Would that protect me against those those balls of light that the phantoms keep shooting at me? Can I, like, install it there? Oh, there we go. Transfer uniform and uniform and psychoscope can be upgraded with chipsets that provide various benefits, boosts, and protections. Okay. And a neural mod. Alright, uh, I'm gonna save the neural mod. I wanna wait till I have two, and I think I'm gonna spend it on the like bullet time thing, combat focus, because that sounds extraordinarily good. I 
mighty supply closet. Ooh, it's got to have good stuff in there. So many materials. Whoa. Is there another one out there? Maybe it's in human resources. Oh! Ah! Fuck, I saw it moving just like half a second before it leaped at me. Eat all my food. Oh, <laughs> well, I know where two of them are. Okay. Yeah, it looks like I should begin with the glue cannon, even if I know where they are. Wasn't that one? Uh. Yeah, it was one. So do they not react when you glue cannon them when they're transformed? I thought it would have reacted. Oh hey look, I'm well fed. I, I have the well fed status. It looks like it's healing me over time. Huh. So I guess it pays to actually save up your food. And not just eat little bits of it, but eat like a full meal. I think one of those chairs is one of them. I hear that skittering noise. International Art Talos Edition. The Transtor Corporation commissioned several high-profile artists to create works exclusively for Talos One, the orbital research and development facility that has brought us the Neuromod and many other technological wonders. Uh, I don't think this really matters. Seem to pick it up. I hear skittering. Gotta say, these mimics are one of the most unique and cool enemies I've ever seen in a game. They're so cool. Oh yeah, it's like a kitchen, tons of food. Why are there eel scraps in the microwave? So much inventory space. Are you on your way? On my way. 
way where? Octavia, didn't you see the alert? We're supposed to muster. Listen, it's really sweet that you're worried about me, but we've had alerts before, and I've got three more of these glorified vacuum cleaners to fix before my shift is over. Ugh. Oh, make that four. Someone dropped off another. God, these things are junk. I don't think this is a drill, Octavia. I'm sending you the code. Please, come to the escape pods right now. Aww. Uh, working aboard a space station like Talos is comparable to working on Earth. Employees tend to forget that they are in space and adapt very well. By contrast, a trove of psychological and behavioral data has been compiled by a decade-long study of Pythias employees. The Pythias facility sits deep in a crater on the lunar pole, permanently shadowed and surrounded by kilometers of ice. Beneath Pisces, P Pisces, Pythes, is a vast network of cramped tunnels where helium-3, hydrogen, and platinum are mined. This is a dark, cold, and often terrifying workplace, cut off from the warm glow of Earth, which extracts a heavy and often fatal toll on the crew. Cookies. The galaxy's flavor in each bite. Ooh. Just broke it by picking it up. all for here. Oh, wait. Ah, just a recycler. Alright, well, let's recycle junk. And our other glue cannon. Don't need that. Ah, okay, so yeah, it's worth noting that the, um, the upgrades you apply to the weapon are, I guess it's kind of obvious, but they're to the weapon specifically, not the weapon type, but that specific weapon. So this glue cannon is the unupgraded 100% incapacitation rate, and this is my upgraded 120% one. So I guess if you have doubles, just make sure you sell the right one. Oh, you can wreck the boxes. Make them crumple, I think? I've also got to keep in mind that I can use the... Whoa. I can use the glue cannon to make pathways, kind of. So I'm just trying to see if there's somewhere I could go. Like, I could... I mean, I don't even need the glue cannon to go along here, but I don't think this is going to take me anywhere useful. Yeah, there's definitely one of those phantoms in the human resources department. Like, it looks like there's a pathway up there. Hmm. I hope I don't fall. What if I... Like... Yeah, there's no way I can jump that. What if I do like this? I think I tried this before and I'm pretty sure you can't really walk on that. But let's try it. Oh! Poof! Never mind! There you go! Whoa! Oh, Christ, fucking hell. <sighs> I 
Oh, apparently that's Dr. Calvino's workshop. I wonder how you're intended to get up here. Because that is definitely not the intended way. Holy shit, that's a pistol. <gasps> yes. The Transtar PPN8 pistol is the standard issue weapon for all Transtar security personnel. Small, fast, and quiet, this pistol provides satisfactory damage while maintaining a degree of stealth. Look at the reflections, just on the little back thing that tells you how much ammo you have in it. Oh, this game's beautiful. Yeah, so it's really worth conserving this ammo, I think, because it's the first time I've gotten it and I've been collecting ammo for it all this time and I've only got 14 shots. All personnel should report to their workstation for the day. If you expect to be absent for any reason, Please inform your immediate supervisor. Have I not been here? Oh, those are my offices over there. Ah, oh, right, this was locked. I remember now. Oh, silence pistol ammo fabrication plant. And a bunch of rounds. Nice. Yeah, so I'm thinking I probably won't waste this ammo on mimics. I'll probably save it for phantoms. Because I can definitely handle the mimics as long as I've got some glue gun ammo. So that's where I'm supposed to go, the hardware labs. And I still have the optional thing to do, so I kind of want to do that first. I heard something. Gotta get that banana peel. Should I test out the pistol? You know, there's something odd about the pistol. Like, these other weapons, they look like they're actually kind of pointing correctly towards the center of the screen. I guess that one's kind of, this one's kind of off, but the pistol especially looks like it's really, really pointing to the left and not the center.
Let's see if there's some environmental... Oh, right, now that I have a weapon, I can shoot those canisters. I mean, now that I have a, a pistol, I've already had weapons, but... Yeah, now I should be able to... Explode them. Any around here? I doubt there'd be a lot of propane canisters in the sales division. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Alright. Ooh, actually, wait. Didn't mean for it to see me, but check this out. Neuromods. So, before using the pistol, how about we get that combat focus, huh? So I'm guessing that's going to be one of those things that takes, like, Psy, right? Combat focus enhances your overall abilities. When active, time slows around you and actions cost less stamina. At higher levels, your combat damage will also increase. It can be equipped from the favorites wheel. Whoa. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Oh, fuck. It's not even there. Christ. I, I did not mean to activate it. I thought I was activating the favorite wheel, but I was actually activating the ability. My bad. That's for the best. <clears throat> there we go. Got it worked out. Uh, yeah, this is the, the favorites wheel or whatever it's called. And the ability does appear. I don't know if it appeared before and I just missed it or what. But it is there and you can reassign them. Uh, if you go into the inventory and, like, let's say I want this pistol to be number two. Just press the number two key. So I rearranged it so that this thing is last. Because it seems to be the thing I use the least. So, wrench, glue cannon, and then handgun. Let's wait for things to cool down. Oh. I want to get that pesky little mimic. Why did it suddenly get silent? Also, there's a bow? Eh? The Huntress Boltcaster launches foam darts, which do zero damage. <laughs> also known for its ability to annoy coworkers, distract enemies, and remotely trigger buttons and screens. Huh. Interesting. Distract enemies and remotely trigger buttons and screens are obviously the most <laughs> important ones. Interesting. Hmm. No power, apparently. Already read that. How to install neuromods. Yeah. Okay, we're fighting. Oh, what is this? You can zoom in. There it is. Examine slash toggle psychoscope. Is, is that the psychoscope? Just a thing you can zoom in with? I don't understand. Huh. 
All right. Hmm? Ugh. Where'd you go? What'd you turn into? Ah. Uh. Oh, crap. Okay. That didn't go so well. I need to make more glue. Let's uh, eat all our food and see if we can get well fed. Yeah, that did it. Why does everything look weird? Oh, whoops. I accidentally activated that apparently. So, Psi 30 out of 50, so that doesn't regenerate naturally, right? Doesn't appear so unless it's very, very slow. So I will have to use those Psi Hypos soon. Which I can do with Q out of the quick menu, it looks like. Got three of them. Yeah, so I guess that's something you're definitely wanna, gonna want to use very sparingly. It doesn't regenerate on its own, and I've only got three Psy Hypos after all this time. I don't think we have to worry too much about the side effects. From what I gathered, it's just a little pinprick near the eye, right? I mean, it looks scary, but... I think if we can get advertising to push some of the more appealing pros of Neuromods, we can shift public attention from that. I'm not too worried about the red-eye stuff, either. I don't think anyone... Any one person in the public sector is going to manage to get their hands on that many Neuromods at one time. None of these prices. What I find far more worrying, though, are these reports of memory loss during neuromod removal. I mean, amnesia? Seriously? We can rewire a person's brain, give them any skill we want, but we can't avoid resetting their head back to the moment they got that shit installed if we decide to take it out? If this leaks, it'll kill neuromod sales. Doesn't matter if you need specialized equipment and training to take one out. No one wants to risk losing years of their life just for the ability to speak French. This can't even go in the fine print. As far as the customer is concerned, neuromods are permanent. Hmm. So they're lying to their customers. You can't ship at home, it's already been noticed. One month pay makes it go away. Hmm? Blackmail. From Elias Black to Yuri. Kimura. read this right space elevator white stork tower yeah employee profile in this edition of Transstar Life's Rising Star segment we profile Harley Granger a member of the Neuromod sales team who is currently stationed aboard Talos 1 so you might recognize Harley, Harley's name from his professional baseball days when he played second base and wore number 66 for the Tornadoes. Harley was assigned to Talos 1 two years ago and has made the journey into orbit and back over 50 times. Not bad for someone who's afraid of flying. 
A time playing baseball forced me to deal with that fear, he said. Believe it or not, a shuttle flight to Talos 1 is far easier than a cross-country airliner trip. I'm curious. Can you recover these bolts after you shoot them? Oh yeah, you can. Yeah, I figured you'd be able to. There's no reason they'd get destroyed. I lost one. Oh, there it is. I love breaking glass in this game. It's so fun. view of my office. I guess not. So, yeah, how are you supposed to get up here? Must be one in here. Yeah, so I could repair the recycler, but what's the point? It's not like I'm overloaded with too much stuff, and there seem to be recyclers kind of pretty commonly around the place. So, just for the sake of testing this out, it's a good chance to use the gun, and let's see if I can explode that. Yeah, alright. Oh, it's a whole different instance. Hmm. I really want to know how you're intended to get up here. Like, I've already been in here. Oh! Oh, right. I guess... I guess you weren't supposed to get up here until after, I don't know, I got a keycard or something? I just kind of managed to get in somehow? I unlocked this, but from the other side, obviously. Hmm... Well, shall we try the trauma center again? Now that I have a weapon? A gun, rather? And combat focus? It's probably gonna take all my ammo to kill that thing, but you know what? I'll do it. Okay. 
I want to explore this place properly. That's odd. It wasn't like that before. Oh, the turret probably busted that open when it was shooting. Yeah, so let me see if I can shoot a canister. What is it doing? Touching stuff. Secure pharmaceuticals. There's two nice ones here. If I could just get it to go by these. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> I got close enough and then I shot the thing? Oh! Christ! That was scary. That's it, isn't it? Random dim sum. Delicious. Comes pre cooked, too, I think. Ah! Oh. Alright, let's explore this place properly. I'm sure there's a lot I missed here. Um, also, I should probably. Take a Psy Hypo. Like, it says I can use my ability again, but... Is 10 Psy enough to use it? I'm pretty sure I had 30 before, so if it takes 20, then I shouldn't have enough. I don't know. I'll just leave it for now. Uh, but I should obviously heal, and also, let's do some suit repair for the first time. There we go. And I think we got a bunch of food, right? Should be able to make ourselves well fed. Crispy frights, mmm. Mm -mm. Cold mountain green tea. Duck beer. Uh, sure. How's that too? There we go, well fed. And something I took actually restored some of my sigh a bit. Um, Gust of Leitner. Oh, Gust of Leitner, that's the person that was visiting, that uh, was getting a scan to preserve their intelligence, I guess, and their abilities, and also seemed to have some sort of terminal illness. Uh, patient tested positive for non-small cell lung cancer. Patient did not list any ailments in their submission form prior to being taken to the skill recorder. Contact this patient immediately. If patient is still on TELUS 1, have him report to the trauma center as soon as possible. Oh, so I guess they got scanned first, and then as a result of the scanning, they found the cancer? I remember reading that briefly. When I was trying to read this before. Oh, make it fabrication plan. Ooh. That sounds valuable. Yeah, I was trying to read this while the uh, thing was still around here. On the prowl. Oh, I never went in here. Yeah, this place is really just, like, unexplored by me because I was way too scared. I also never went in this room. What the heck is this thing? Some medical doodad. I don't know, it looks like a torture implement. I explored that room. Not this one. System alert. Repair is needed. Please contact a qualified engineer. Medical operator broken. Oh, it's one of those flying things, isn't it? That we saw, like, at the very beginning. System alert. 
Repairs needed. Please contact a qualified engineer. <laughs> oh my god, they have a microwave under their desk. They just like live in this office, tinkering away. Wade, please, 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 with the cherry on top, fix the medical operator that's been sitting on your desk. Whoops. You can break even that. System alert. Repair is needed. Please contact a qualified engineer. I just want to test a hunch. Remember when I avoided hitting these things because I thought they would explode if I hit them with a wrench? Vital signs critical. Yeah, okay, they do. It's cool the way it explodes too. It doesn't instantly explode, but it makes like a leak and then it jets around for a second before doing it. Very cool. I love squishy biomedical waste. Okay, I'm still missing a lot of things here. I don't have that password. I still can't seem to do the optional quest. Still don't have the key card, even though I do have that password that has that person's name on it over here. Speaking of, is that person that I zapped still out? Are they out permanently? Okay, they are. Good. Seven, three, two, four. The door sounds like razor blades. Ooh, two Psy Hypos. So much beautiful, beautiful materials. What is this? Requesting new operator. Transfer barricade 490 medical class operator ready to deploy. Please stand clear of aperture. Hi. Diagnosing. Looks like you had a rough day. I'll have you feeling better. What is new? Don't forget to complete a patient questionnaire. Your feedback will be invaluable. Thank you. Huh. My mistake. Are you following me? Okay, what, Good am morning, I, Talos. what am I missing here? Our resident counselor, Dr. Cole, would like to encourage anyone experiencing symptoms of disturbed sleep, chronic stress, or anxiety. Where in the hell is Bellamy's corpse in the trauma center? May still have a key card to his cabin on his corpse. To schedule an appointment in the cabin. Wait, wait, that said view on map. There is a map? Oh, there is a map. Pretty sexy looking one too. Well, I took another look around and I found that you can break the windows to uh, Devry. Yeah, you can break the windows to Devry's office right here. You can't get through here though. But you can see inside at least. You can steal their globe. <laughs> also, I don't think I ever read this computer. Pretty sure I already had them out.
true. Oh. Whoops. Yeah, so everyone's tracked. Remember that, like, uh, tracking bracelet that I found? Oh, wow. Like, you can look everywhere. Oh, that shows you where their body is. Okay, so I should be able to use this to find that person's body. Cool. Like, that should show them. Yep. Ah, there they are. Sylvain Bellamy, Sim Lab Director, Location Talos 1 Lobby. I don't know where that is. <laughs> also, by the way, I found Alex Yu, Arboretum. Arboretum. Alex Yu, President in Arboretum and Alive. So, does this, like, show me on the map where they are? View on map, yes. No. Oh yeah, so it shows them as being right here. I remember I picked up a uh, monitoring bracelet. Was that their monitoring bracelet then? I don't remember. I think I turned it into scrap or something. Something I do want to do is let's get Hendrik Devries, Chief Surgeon. See if I can find their body, then maybe it will have their uh, key card to get inside their place. So where are they? They're also in the lobby, apparently. Oh, they're on level 4. They're way up there. Don't even know how to get there. Okay. Now, I was exploring around a little bit just to see if I was missing something obvious, and I realized I have the security keycard, I think. So I think I can make my way in here. Ah. This might give me access to all sorts of things. Also, I just realized I forgot to read the email on the computer back at the trauma center. Enhance. Tactical shotgun provides maximum damage at close range. Effectiveness falls off significantly at longer range. Beautiful. Got quite a bit of ammo for this thing, too. The Oret. Highlighted excerpt from the Song of Deborah and the sacred texts of Beta Israel. Her hand she put in the tent peg and her right hand to the workman's hammer. And with the hammer she smote Sisera. She smote through his head. Ye? Yeah? She pierced and struck through his dimples. Day two. I woke up still in the street. An M35 truck was stopped near me and the drivers were yelling at me to get in. There were several people in the back already. Four or five soldiers and about a dozen civilians, including children. I got in the truck and someone gave me a bottle of water. I asked what was happening, and the soldier just shrugged. I told him I had driven the M35 during my service. People in the truck were crying, and I looked back. The pink smoke was now mixed with gray and swirled high into the sky. There was so much of it, and it seemed to cover the entire city. We kept picking up people until the truck was full. Before we got to the highway, we heard shooting. The soldiers climbed down and readied their weapons. The commander told me to drive the truck as far as possible to the west. Then they ran towards the shooting. I wonder what that was about. <laughs> Level 3 hack. That's not happening. Need security escort. I know you probably have your hands full right now, but we need you to send a security detail to detain Dimitri Bowser. He witnessed the incident, and he's pretty shaken. We're just not sure how stable he is at the moment. 
Make an assessment and hold him indefinitely if necessary. From Alex Yu. Ma'am, you know I went to the doctor about sleep and all that. I got pills, but still been seeing things. After game night, I was cleaning up and a chair moved by itself. I'm not crazy like you know who. I'm sending this cause just to, uh, sending this cause just after the alert. I heard something in the vent over security. Thought I saw something black up there. We need to check this out because I'm starting to think there's something on the station that we don't know about. Please add Michaela Ilushin to the watch list. While she's currently performing her duties, her condition makes for a potential security risk, and we may need leverage. Access should be restricted. Flag any communications between her and Dr. Galagos out of psychotronics. Medical is beginning to suspect she has white noise. Hmm? Whoops. Missing keycard. Sarah, I need your help tracking down a missing keycard. This should be one of your highest priorities. It's labeled EP101. Let me know as soon as you find anything. Well, level 1 security. I can open that. One sec, though. Let's see what's here. So that would be... Yeah, that's the same tracking thing that we saw on the other computer. Just to make sure that nothing's different. So Neuromod Division, let's look for our good old friend. Bellamy. Talisman Lobby. Yep, yeah, that's the same. Emails. Help, help, help. People asking for help. Set up a recurring task for setting Morgan's keypad. We're getting code change requests every month. It's the same pattern. Morgan asks us what the current code is, asks if it was requested or if we chose it, then asks for a new one. It's unusual. Last time she asked, I was right there. So I told her the code and she gave me a blank look. A code we'd set less than a week ago. Maybe she's testing our response time? Yeah, so it really does sound like she was kind of hiding the tests that they were doing, and her memory wipe. Hmm. Alright, let's hack this thing. wasn't expecting that. Oh, there's Dimitri Bowser being held for questioning, I guess. Miss Elazar, I don't know what I saw, but I was just trying to do my job. Now I worry I might not get a chance to talk to you, so I'm writing this. I don't recall the last time I was scared, but what happened in Sim, I can't get it out of my head. Whatever's happening, I want to help. Not sit here in this room. I'm starting to feel like people on station haven't been shooting straight. Like, what do they actually do in Psychotronics? No one I talk to goes in there. And Yuri Kimura has unnumbered neuromods in her office that I thought you should know about. Alright, let's go read those emails on the Trauma Center computer real quick. Booster shots. Uh, weird, I can't pull those records up. They're not in the system. Still want me to swing by. Who's the NSP being administered to? It's for Chief Ilushin. 
No records for it. <laughs> Casualties. Attention all security officers in trauma. You have multiple people. Oh, I guess this is an important one. You have multiple people in route with injuries as well as possible fatality. One of them is Dr. Sylvain Bellamy. Do not take him into the trauma center. He must be taken to psychotronics. This is an extremely grave security and health issue. I repeat, do not admit blah 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 to the trauma center. Psychotronics, okay. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode. I think I better just stop recording before I end up with like a five hour episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm gonna head on over to the uh, the hardware lab and find Dr. Calvino's workshop.